watching NES News, your source for what's happening around Narragansett Elementary School, Science Edition. Rooms 206 and 200 spent the last half of the year learning about structures of life. Students conducted experiments and made observations with crayfish and plants. The unit began with students examining the structure of a green bean plant. Seeds were observed inside the plant. Students diagrammed the plant and created a line plot of how many seeds were in each plant. The next part of the research involved planting seeds hydroponically. Hydroponic means planting without soil. The seeds were bush beans, corn, and peas. Another structure we were studying is the crayfish, which is a crustacean. This is a student's diagram of a crayfish. This is the crayfish's exoskeleton. That means show. One of the experiments we did was study crayfish behaviors. Here are some of the behaviors. So the first one is if you put the straw right here, he might like raise his pincers, which means like he's ready to attack or like he's warning you or something. Another experiment was if he touches a tenor. He will try to pinch the straw. Yeah. Another experiment we did was touch his back and tail. Yes. He sometimes tries to run away when you do it. Yeah. This is Bar, our crayfish, and he is... The pincers are help him protect and survive. When the crayfish crawl into their habitat, we observe their behaviors. We learn they were nocturnal, which means they come out at night and they sleep in the daytime. Although plants and animals are very different life structures, they do share some things in common. They both have to be given water and nutrients in order to grow and survive. For NES News Science Reports, I'm Lily. I'm Jojo. And I'm Olivia. Thanks for watching.